good morning guys finally i'm out of class and i can eat breakfast class was on zoom today i didn't actually have to go to school now i can have breakfast i'm just having some biscuits with apple butter pecan just cooked up my protein shake i've been trying to drink protein shakes when i know my breakfast isn't gonna really be anything special i have to go grocery shopping so bad i have no groceries this was just kind of what i came up with for breakfast today All right, guys, so I kind of got ready for the day because like I was saying earlier, I had my first class on Zoom and I kind of just didn't fully get ready. But now I am ready for the day. I did my hair in this cute little style that I never ever do, but I'm kind of in a rush because my sister is here right now to pick me up. I know she's in the car like annoyed with me right now because I was supposed to have been ready, but here's my little fit of the day. Got my blazers on. All right, so we just got Chick-fil-A. My sister picked me up because we're gonna do some fall shopping together. I was sick for the past three weeks and I have no groceries. I have no toothpaste, I have no soap, I have no, I need baking soda, I need, oh, I need sponges, I need so much. There's so much that I don't have that I need to restock on. Oh my gosh, fall officially begins on this Saturday, two days till fall. We need to set a vibe in the house because I need like pumpkins, fall leaves, pumpkin spice smelling candy candles, warm colors. I just needed to be very fall. So if you guys didn't know, 294 days ago today, we moved in to our first apartment ever. And now we're getting ready to move to our second apartment. Me and my sister will be getting our own places again, but this time we're gonna be like across the hall neighbors. I'm just really, really excited. So we have to start getting our minds into the mindset of just like moving and packing away things that you don't really use every day. <laughs> There's too many pumpkins to choose from. Also, like, what am I supposed to do with this singular pumpkin? Like, I need, like, another one to put next to it or something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I did find this cute pillow that can go somewhere at the pumpkin. All right, guys. We just left from Home Goods, And I didn't find as much as I thought I would, but I did find some good stuff that I'm hoping works out. Because this whole time, I'm just like, where's my mom? Like, I need to give my mom a call. But I think she's at work, so I'm not going to call her. But, like, hello. Can I get some backup here? I don't know how to decorate for fall when it's not like I'm really fully redecorating. I'm just trying to, you know, add some fall touches here and there. This is wall decor. fall stuff here but i need some essentials like i don't have any soap and i don't have toothpaste and stuff like that so i need to get that real quick before we leave because we want to go to tj maxx after this and buy my sister a purse and just do some more shopping
my gosh, y'all. You're gonna take a peek. Come here. All right, time to try this pumpkin spice. It's good. All right, guys, I just got back home from doing a bunch of fall shopping and I got a bunch of nice decorations to put in my house for fall. Um, but I didn't have time to go to the grocery store today, so I am going to have to go tomorrow. But that is like a necessity. I have to go. Right now, I'm about to go to my self-defense class. And then after that, I do have to go to basically it's just rehearsals every Friday for my production management class. We have to produce a show called AYM, which airs. We have to go be a part of that. This week, I'm on graphics which i was actually on graphics for the last two weeks but i wasn't able to do my job because one of those weeks i was sick and the other week sound went out so we ended up having to change the whole thing they put me back on graphics this week except this week's ay is um hispanic heritage ay so all of my graphics are going to be in spanish and i I don't speak Spanish, so I don't know that's what rehearsal is for so i'm about to go to this class get this over with and then go to AY. Is that Dave? We stuck in here Rice. still. I don't know Rice. what time it is. Rice. But we working though. Say hey to my vlog. Hey. Hi. We working and we not supposed to be here. Yes. Period. Daniel, you better get ready because I hear some music. <laughs> Hey guys, it's the next day. Um, yesterday after going to AY rehearsal, we did not end up getting out of there till 10. We definitely, definitely were there over time, but whatever. It was so stressful y'all because my job switched out at the end of rehearsal after rehearsing doing graphics all night. I, I literally was like, y'all, I don't know how I'm gonna get these lyrics on screen at the right time because they're speaking Spanish, they're singing in Spanish and these words are in English. So I'm not gonna know if I'm putting the right words on the screen at the right time. So I had to basically go find somebody else to do my job. And now I'll be on the floor this week. So that basically just means I'll be running around while the production's going on, like handing mics to the people, getting all the people who are in the production where they're supposed to be at the right time, you know, stuff like that. It's a much more all over the place job than graphics. In graphics, you could just be up in the control room and do graphics, but I don't speak Spanish, so I don't know how that's gonna work. I didn't get to finish getting my life together yesterday or prepare for fall. I am gonna do that today. I'm actually getting ready to go to Trader Joe's and get my groceries now because I don't have any groceries still. And I somehow ended up going another day with no groceries. But I'm going right now. Um, we're gonna go to Trader Joe's. I tried to do my hair the same, like, but now the curls, they're not flat, but because I had to wet them, they're like a little less smooth. Oh, kill him. Oh, kill him. Oh, it's so good. I actually got all these groceries for like $120, which wasn't that bad. I honestly thought it would be more. Ooh, look at the fruit I chose. Pineapples and watermelon. Mmm, so good. You guys, I cannot wait until I don't have to do AY anymore. Like, I'm ready to have my Fridays just be free and empty because that would be a blessing. But also, you guys, I got these soup dumplings that I've been seeing all over TikTok and I really want to try them. And I'm actually really excited to try them because they've been making them look really good on TikTok. And if they're not good, I'm gonna be mad. I also got some plums for fruit. <laughs> Celery, potatoes. I got this sweet chili. Oh, I got pumpkin spice. I don't know really what I'm gonna put this on. Oh, and I got this pumpkin butter that I wanna try on my biscuits because I make biscuits for breakfast in the morning. I wanna try this first. So that's what I'm gonna do. Microwave for two minutes. I heard a lot of people say that the ones from Costco are way better than these, but I don't have a Costco card, so yeah. If these are good, I feel like it's a nice cozy meal for like the fall season and when it gets cold outside. So hopefully they're not like nasty. And what should I put on it? I feel like this is gonna be good. 
Okay guys, here's my little soup dumplings from Trader Joe's. If you guys haven't seen this trend on TikTok, I think I'm just like beat. I'd be on the hungry side of TikTok. Hot. Okay guys, um, this actually tastes good. Now I really want to try the Costco ones because everybody said those ones were really good. So I just got back from getting my lashes done. They finally look good again. But I'm gonna give you guys a quick haul of everything that I got when we went to the stores because I got a lot of cute stuff to decorate. And I low-key thought maybe like I didn't get enough stuff because I was like, is this gonna be enough to like transform my house? But then I remembered that when I first moved into this house, I had a lot of like brown pillows and blankets. They weren't really brown. They were like a brown orangey color. I'll show you guys, but they were very, very like fall colors. So I got those back from my garage because I put them away a long time ago and it's like switched out my pillows. But I got those out of the garage and I'm gonna put them back on my couch and I think it's gonna look really really cozy in here again but I'm gonna give you guys a haul I was feeling like mm, this might not turn out that good but now I changed my mind I found this cute pumpkin how adorable is this I got this from Hobby Lobby I also got this pack of pumpkins from Hobby Lobby because hello this is so cute and they're like brown white and orange then my mom found this at Kirkland's this is such a cute pumpkin it's so soft I don't know I might not keep this one if I end up using this one but we'll see I also found these two black pumpkins both of these are from home goods we got this one how cute and this one hello I love the like soft like boucle kind of ones and then I found this big orange pumpkin which now that I think about it I might not keep this one because I got all these other ones that actually look like aesthetically pleasing and then I got this orange one which it just looks kind of ugly now but then from home goods i got this maple hazelnut scented candle this one smells so good all the candles i got smell like fall literally i just can't wait till we finish this video and i can light them all i got this one it's orange and it's just like a nice glass pumpkin spice flavored and this one smells really good too i really like to have candles like this like in the bathroom or in my room because they kind of bring the fall vibes to that room as well i got this yankee candle this one's actually from target but this one smells so good it's called autumn wreath and um yankee candle they just have the best candles also i found this i think i got this from either home goods or tj maxx but it is just some pumpkin spice hand soap for my bathroom and i'm really excited because in my next apartment i'm gonna have two bathrooms so i'm gonna have a guest bathroom that i can decorate and my bathroom but right now um i just have one bathroom so i just got this also from TJ Maxx, I found these cute dish towels that will kind of look, you know, nice in my kitchen. Then I also found this set of Swedish dish cloths, but they're like a cute Halloween kind of set. They're so cute. I actually really, really love these dish dish cloths because they don't like collect like a dirty, nasty smell and they dry pretty nicely and they're machine washable. And I got them once and now I keep getting them, but I got some Halloween ones. I found this actually at TJ Maxx and I was thinking this could go over my bed. It's just like a pumpkin garland and it's kind of cute. And if you guys remember what my bed looks like, it could easily like just go right on top of my bed. So I thought that would be so cute to kind of add the fall vibe into my room. So I also found these decorative balls. I don't know if I got where I got these. I might have got these at TJ Maxx, honestly. I don't know. But these are so cute and I'm really glad that I found them because they have like little pumpkins in them. And I thought this would go perfect in this bowl of pine cones that I found from Target. Well, the bowl and the pine cones are sold separately, but they're both from Target. But these scented cones, hello, they smell like fall. My mom also gave me this. Well, she brought it by to see if I would be interested in it. Dang, this one's from Target too. This one was expensive -er, but... I got some of these, which you guys saw me buy some of these at Home Goods, but they were kind of uh, ugly. We're going to see how they look. Hopefully they're not ugly. But I found these ones too. These are from Target, I believe. And they are like giving fall. And then we got these. I don't know. My mom's here, so I feel like she, if anybody, she would be the one to be able to like finesse this. But my vision for this was for it to go in that base. I'm going to show y'all. But it was for it to go in this base that has nice green foliage in it. And you know, as the seasons change, I thought the foliage could even. That's basically everything I got. I'm gonna show you guys the whole transformation. I'm gonna show you the pillows that I'm gonna change out. Okay, so these, this was like my winter gear. So I'm gonna bring out these pillows because they look so fall and nice. This, 
comfy, cozy, matching blanket. And if you're wondering, these pillowcases and this blanket are from Pottery Barn, if you're wondering. And I am so happy that I remembered this because now it'll look so fall in here. All right, guys, so here is my living room right now. This is what it's looking like. It's not looking very fall, but like I said, I am gonna switch out these pillows. I switched these out a few months ago and I've loved the pink so far, but I think the brown ones will really give fall. So I'm gonna switch those out, bring some fall vibes in here. So this is what the living room is looking like right now. And this is the kitchen. You guys know how the kitchen already looks though. Kind of just looks the same as it always looks. But I am gonna like add some more fall touches in here. My colors of my house are already kind of like browns and fall-y kind of colors. I am gonna make it a little more fall. Um, as for my shelf, I don't know if I'm gonna add any fall things to it. I could. Like I have tons of pumpkins so I might, you know, do something here. Definitely I want to add some fall stuff on here maybe on this back table. This is kind of like the vase I was telling you guys about that has like the green foliage in it that I kind of want to add the fall kind of ones instead but we'll see how it looks because I really like the way the green kind of looks very I don't know what the word is it just looks very big kind of hangs down in the right spots so we'll just see how the other stuff works out but then I also maybe wanted to put like a bowl here of maybe like the pine cones or the pumpkin so we'll see what that all turns out to look like and my room just kind of looks like my room Nothing really fall going on here either, so I might spruce it up. First order of business, I want to do my living room just because I feel like that's the cozy part of my house. That's kind of where I spend the most of my time. I don't know, that's like the center of the house kind of. That's the living room. Also, shout out to Stanley for sending me this customized cup with my name on it. And it's a cute fall color, period. <sighs> Okay, so I think this is kind of how I'm gonna do the living room. Just kind of spice it up with some pumpkins and some brown pillows. I'm gonna put these cuties. I got some of this. Also, let me get those vases. Okay, we got these vases with the shrubberies that I told you guys from Target. We're gonna see. I never really wanted anything on my countertop. Like I like the like nothing on my countertop look, but you know, it's fall season. I wanna decorate the house. This is kind of cute. I think I like this. I really like the way they smell, so yeah, I'm gonna leave this one right here. But she's cute, let's go put these. Um, I think this is cute guys like also I forgot to show you guys I did also pick up this cute pumpkin mug This was like $4.99 from home goods. So she's cute pumpkin spice Okay, so I have two cute little options here for bowls I think I'm gonna put this darker one over here because if you can see like look at all that That would go so perfect. So I think for this lighter kind of bowl We're gonna just get rid of baby Lexi. She can go somewhere else put this cute bowl here and I thought that these fluffy pumpkins from Home Goods would look so adorable. So let's open this up and see. Um actually guys these fluffy pumpkins are from Hobby Lobby. I meant to say that not Home Goods. They're so adorable. Like hello bowl of pumpkins anyone this is so cute. How adorable, my little bowl of pumpkins. Okay, now let's set up my little second bowl over here. This is gonna be the bowl that kinda has like the smell good pine cones, which, okay, me and my mom took like a closer look at this. I don't think that they will hang cute, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know? I want my mom to try and come and finesse it, but she said if we open it, like, we won't be able to take it back. It smells like Christmas. <laughs> I love this. I freaking love this. I don't know why I'm like addicted to this right now. It's a bowl of pine cones, but I really like it. It, I love it. Guys, I'm already like about to like spruce up my bedroom. It takes nothing 
to decorate for fall. Like literally all you need to go buy is a few pumpkins and put them around the house. Like I barely did any kind of decorating for fall. And I bought like, you know, a good amount of stuff. I bought like a bunch of pumpkins and my whole house just already feels way more of a fall vibe. Like especially those pine cones. I don't know. That is like a probably my favorite little decoration that I bought because my house is smelling so good. It's smelling like fall pine cones. And I know you know the smell I'm talking about because who doesn't know the pine cone smell, you know? Like I love it. So now I'm going to decorate my room, which is not that, you know, much. I'm just gonna put this little pumpkin garland over my bed and then I was thinking I could put this cute black pumpkin that I got in here and of course I have to switch out my old cute pink candle with this maple hazelnut candle which is way more fall it smells so good too um yes look how cute this is okay now we can also switch this out in my bathroom because right now I just got this basic old dial soap okay now we got boom pumpkin spice also i don't know if i showed you guys this in the video but i picked up these hair turbans to do my hair i always dry my hair in like microfiber cloths because it makes my hair like not dry frizzy so that's a hack curly hair girls if you know you know but i got them in these cute orange colors so that you know i can be cute for fall also oh my gosh look at these snoopy socks hello these are so cute and fall um peanuts i'm about to put this garland above my bed um it's you know the pumpkin one I showed you guys. This is gonna make my room look like I told you guys. If you want to decorate for fall, just like print out some pumpkins. Get some pumpkins from somewhere. Like that's all you need. Also, I am gonna add this pumpkin plush to my bed as a pillow. Here's my little pumpkin plush. He'll just go right here. You know, that's so cute, right? It looks like fall, but it's so cute. Here is my garland, pumpkin garland. And I'm gonna eat these pumpkins while I'm asleep. And <laughs> so here's my little fall additions to my bedroom. Got my pumpkins over there and my nice smelling candles right here. And my pumpkin. I'm about to actually light all these pumpkins. I mean, <laughs> I'm about to light all these candles that I have and make it smell like hazelnut pumpkins all over my house because, yeah. Uh, just a few pumpkins and you can take your house looking from not so spice to pumpkin spice. my little prep with me for fall video i hope you guys enjoyed all of my candles are now lit my house smells so amazing i'm about to just you know continue the rest of my day go to this little ay production and hopefully be able to come back and chill and enjoy my new little fall decorations happy first day of fall it's officially fall now so we can you know start layering our clothes and you know get cute i hope you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you give a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one peace Thank you.